competition that we talked about, they're going to have a huge amount of opportunity to raise money at huge valuations. So the step up valuation, they've got to be valued at least between 300 and 500 million dollars right now. So that's kind of my guesstimate. I have no inside information to validate. I know that their last valuation was roughly around 250 million dollars in that neighborhood. So assume that this next step up valuation was up round, which we heard it was. It's got to be north of 300 million. If they continue to execute, the capital markets are so frothy in the late stage, there are billions of dollars of capital under management that are looking for the growth deals. And there's a lot of secondary markets. You're seeing what Facebook did, what Twitter did, what LinkedIn did. All these companies raised a significant amount of money. Zynga, another one. The winners will raise money. So Cloudera does not have a money problem. What they have right now is their issue is the opportunity to extend that lead. And that is the chess game that Amr, Mike, and the team is going to play, and the execution that Kirk Dunn is going to do. To me, they're in a great position to put the throttle down and just blow pat, continue to throw dust in Horton Works' face. And we've been talking about the parallels and the differences <clears throat> all week with Linux and Red Hat. And the big difference that I see, John, is people just left Red Hat alone for a decade, and they were able to sort of bump along and do their own thing. Um, the management of these companies today saw that, they're smart. I mean, Pat Gelsinger, who's been on theCUBE a number of times, I mean, essentially he said to us, look, he didn't say these words, but my inference was, we were going to let Cloudera try to run away with this, so Cloudera is going to see some competition. To me, that's validation, so I agree with your scenario that Cloudera has to keep putting the pedal to the metal, you know, spending aggressively. I think marketing is an area where Cloudera is, 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 is going to really have to put some emphasis because they're going to be up against the Oracles and the EMCs and the IBMs of the world. So let's do a review. Quick top stories from Hadoop world. There's clearly uh, traction in Hadoop, the growth to mainstream, the appification of Hadoop tools, and the platform positioning has been key. Um, there's peace in the Apache community. There's no real mud fighting going on. They all know each other. The real war is on the differentiators. Um, the other big news, Dave, is that uh, you know the funding is robust. Cloudera had got an additional $40 million. XL Partners launched the first ever big data fund of $100 million where they'll invest in startups across the board, up and down the stack. And uh, just overall, um, great partnerships. NetApp's announcing a deal with Cloudera. Hortonworks has got deals in the works. A lot of big vendors, Aster Data's here. So just a ton of activity and uh, it's just Crazy. My last prediction is you're going to see other big data funds. I mean, that's kind of a layup, right? Other people are going to come out and, and copy what, what, what Ping Lee's firm, Excel Partners, has done. I think it's very important to underscore the relationship between those funds, the ecosystem investment, and Cloudera's ascendancy. That's a very important component, and that's why Mike Olson is, was so excited about it, and one of the reasons why uh, he and, and Ping Lee wanted to come on theCUBE to talk about that. Yeah, and the, and the, the other thing that he, people have been talking about about Hadoop is the competition. And we've heard from everyone here at the event, including Cloudera, Hortonworks, and others, they love the competition. Competition is good for everyone. It provides validation. There's a marketplace, there's tools available, and essentially no one is really afraid. Cloudera is basically, hey, you know, okay, competition's good for everyone. We're just going to continue to do our business and be number one and push the envelope. You know, people are okay with the competition. So that story is not as hot as people think. It's just complete validation that the overall space is going to have rapid growth. And so analytics, business intelligence, tools, platform, open source, everything's growing. That's good for everyone. And rising tide floats all boats. What's the number one risk factor in your opinion to Cloudera's uh, success? I think if Cloudera drops the ball on how they handle the open source, um, contribution and what's proprietary, and if they don't keep an eye on that product and make that clearly an excellent product, they could lose their lead a little bit there. So that's a risk. I don't think that's going to be a big risk factor for them. So if they kind of botch up the, the strategic side is one. And two, I think Kirk Dunn has, has talked about it, is on the execution side of Cloudera, their risk is if they don't go out and build out the the ecosystem mechanics, the channel strategy, the direct sales, and actually knock down those key accounts and continue to get the big whale accounts and proof of concepts and roll in and continue to scale up their support. That's a risk factor, but you know, that's an execution risk. There's no market risk at all. The market is growing like crazy. Really the product and then the execution are you know, classic risks, but I think they're in good shape. I don't really see them uh, shaking it all. I think all the signals are coming in. Uh, we just did a remote with Alex Williams about the new management console, the new enterprise edition that he just gave a review on. Uh, we heard from Amr Awadallah. He's clearly on the open source thing. They're on it. Uh, Kirk Dunn, is, they got, he's got $40 million of fresh financing. Um, 
So I think Cloudera has got it. I, you know, I, I don't see any uh, I, red I, flags yet. I think your analysis is right on. I think the market risk is low. I think the, the, the competitive risk, which I would put into market risk, is, is, is low only because Cloudera knows this space better than anybody. They know what they don't know, in my opinion. And I think it, it comes down to execution risk. And, uh, you know, I mean, look, 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 at Horton, his look at Hortonworks, right? Hortonworks, I got to give them huge credit. Those guys came into the marketplace, spun out of Yahoo. That's like, you know, walking out of a, of a, of a, of a frozen freeze. If you worked at Yahoo, it's like, oh, man, it's like they walk out in the real world. He's like, shit, this is the world's, this is the real world, you know? So they come in, but they've done a good job competing, but they're so far behind. I mean, management consoles, alpha. Um, they got contributions, so they're playing the open source game, but they're just so far behind. And so their job is to try to get as close to Cloudera as possible. Everything that they're doing on the messaging is like trying to copy Cloudera. So clearly they want to be at least number two. And I think if, if you said to Hortonworks, you're guaranteed a number two position right now in three years. If you, I'll take that deal.